Roblox. So um, it says that you are given an integer array nums and an integer k, right? Basically, you have to get a continuous subarray is called nice if there are k odd numbers in it. K odd numbers, right? I am not worrying about even numbers. I am only worrying about k odd numbers should be there. As many number of even numbers can be there. Now, you have to return the number of such nice subarrays. So, if I just convert this, or if I just imagine this subarray, imagine this subarray and say, that bro, you only are worried about your, you only are worried about your odd numbers. That's it. The number can be 1, the number can be 3 also. But all of them are equal. It is just that it's an odd number. So, let's convert your odd numbers to a 1 and your even numbers to a 0. Such that I can ultimately say that I have to find all the subarrays in which the subarray sum is equal to k. Because that subarray sum equal to k, it feels more natural or more known problem rather than finding a new problem altogether, right? So that's the reason. We just converted all the odd numbers to 1, all the even numbers to 0, such that it becomes a problem like this that you have given an array or it you can call it a binary array in that you have to just get all the possible subarrays whose sum is equal to k. That's it. Same way, if, if I convert this, then all zeros. If I convert this, then these are zeros. This is one, again zeros, again zeros, again a one, and then all zeros. Now, if you had seen the two pointer crash course in which we saw the problem binary subarray with sum, it is exactly same problem. If you have watched it, go and try it by yourself. If not, then please go and watch it first and then come to this problem or come to this video again. Because in this, I'll discuss the code and a bit dry run of the code, but I will not explain all the approaches in very deep and the whys. I will not, I'll not tell again. Now, coming on back, we know that it is exactly equal to binary sub sum equal to k. So, for sure, let's jump on. In, in that video, we discuss about brute force, brute, brute force optimal. Then we discuss about the hash map approach. So, let's jump on that approach. So, it simply says that it is a sub sum, which means range sum, which means Prefix sum. So I just simply had my nums. I converted my nums to my binary, binary array. And again, this is I showed you by converting, but I will not convert actually in code because ultimately any number mod by two, if it is zero, it's a like it's even. If not, then it's odd. So I would know by myself in the code, but I just for showing you purposes, I just converted it. Now I will take the prefix sum. Remember, 0 always comes at the very beginning when the sum is not even there. And then, okay, 0, 0, 0, plus 1, 1, plus 1, 1, plus 1, 1, plus 1, 2, plus 1, like, pl pl uh, plus 0, 0, like 2, plus 0, 2, plus 0, 2. Okay, I've got the prefix sum. Then just we know that how prefix sum, what, what it indicates. If I want to find the range sum from here to here, what I do? I simply take a range sum up till here, which is, as you can see, 2. And I subtract the range sum of this point which as you can see is 0. But ultimately, you know that you have to find your range sum equal to this value k. So, which means if you are at, at a value i, which means your prefix sum of i, you know, you have to find some prefix sum of j and that should be equal to your k. Ultimately, move your question mark to the right side. And this is, if you can go and find prefix sum of i, if you are standing here, i, if you want to find all such j's, then simply 2 minus k is 2 go and find all such zeros. So I can see my zeros here, here, here and here. Thus I can simply get for this specific index i, I can get a contribution of 4 as my range sum giving the value of 2. Same way 4 here, same way 4 here, same way 4 here. Ultimately my answer will be 16 and that you can see answer is 16. Again for exact dry run and proper intuition stuff go and watch the above video. Coming on back to the code, uh, what we will do, we have simply taken our prefix sum which will maintain for all the possible prefix sum, what is the count? What is the count? Because for a 2, I will add that much count. So I took a frequency of prefix sum, which will tell what is the frequency of that, of, that, of that prefix sum. I went on to all of my numbers. I firstly got the current prefix sum, but by checking if the current number is a odd, only then add a 1, else add a 0. So, so adding a 0 or a 1 in, a, in my prefix sum. Then I increased, I added my answer what? Prefix sum, like 
my prefix sum minus k frequency. As you remember, prefix sum minus k's frequency. How many times? How many times zero occurred? And ultimately, increasing the prefix sum of frequency, uh, frequency of prefix sum of that prefix sum by one. Cool. Ultimately, we'll get the answer. With this, you see that you used a hash map, so space will be O of n. Time is still O of n, but still space is also O of n. But uh, we know that it's a range, continuous elements. I just want to find a range sum. So maybe I can apply two pointers also. But uh, in the above video, we saw that there's a slight catch on where we can apply two pointers. So we realized that if I convert this to a binary array, and now at this point of time, when I am at i and j, you can see the sum is exactly equal to i and j, the sum is exactly equal to 2. So now, in by your in like by your simple two pointers template code which you have seen in the above video you know that uh, while j is less than n you just incorporate j which means you, you like you will just incorporate j first then you will try to see if the condition becomes invalid then you try to shrink your i then you will impact your answer by any value either count or length or whatsoever you want and then and then increment your j this is your template of two pointers right in this case, uh, what you will do, okay, at every point, j will increase, okay, j will increase. But still, the count is equal to 2. The count, again, for, for me, the invalid condition would have been the count, count of, the count of number of ones in the entire range. If it is more than my goal, my goal was a k, only then it is an invalid condition for me. Else, it is a valid, else, it is a valid condition. But if it is a valid condition, then I will only keep on increasing my j. I never shrinked my eye and that was the issue which we saw in the above video also that if this is the issue then simply I was actually missing shrinking which means I was actually only expanding when the condition was correct that is the reason we realized in the above video that I will impact my answer by saying I should take again this impact of my answer should only be count is less than equal to my goal and goal was k in our case so rather than incorporating count is equal to goal equal to goal i will say count is less than equal to goal and thus i will do the same stuff that i will take my nums and goal is k nums and goal is k minus one i because i want my count is equal to as in like count is equals to my k that is what i wanted so what i will do i will get for count is less than equal to k i will subtract when count is less than k and i can interpret the same thing as when count is less than equal to k minus one so I'll subtract, like I will get this, I will get this, I'll subtract them. And I did the same thing here itself. And again, this is a simple two pointers with a template which you have seen that uh, i, j, n and count and answer. Count is the count of number of ones in the range. Answer is number of such a sub arrays, right? Okay, uh, y, j is less than n. Incorporate the j, incorporate the j. Try to shrink your i if the condition becomes invalid. When I say shrink, just simply count. Like decrease your count, increase your i. Now, incorporate the answer. Basically, you want the ray, like you want the number of such sub arrays, which means you want length of the sub array. If I have a length of the sub array from j to i, which is a valid good sub array, sorry, this is i, this is j. And I, if I am saying that it has one, two, three, four, five elements, and if it's a good sub array, so number of sub arrays ending at j will be one, two, three, sorry, one, two, three four and five which is j minus i plus one right so that's reason i added a j minus i, I plus one and ultimately increase the j at every step that's also in a template and ultimately return the answer with this you was able to solve time in o of n in space of o of one make sure this is not an easy problem i took 45 minutes to explain all the variations of when and where you can apply two pointer this is not a direct two pointer it is a bit tweaked and you should know why you applied it so please go and watch this video and then I, I, I hope you guys you guys got the code it is exactly same it's just that i did not make a new array of just binary numbers i intrinsically assumed i can generate that from like by converting a number to just mod 2 and checking if that is even or odd cool bye bye take care and again uh do follow all the socials yeah linkedin linkedin dekho twitter dekho kya kar rahe ho bye bye take care